with the 831CRT option, you can take reverberation time measurements. The meter has several new pages for this feature. We will visit each of them briefly to talk about their navigation. With the meter in RT60 mode, the first page we see is the live RT60 page with OBA levels displayed and an overall LEQ. The indicator in the lower left changes to prompt you through the steps while taking decays for a position. First, we need to set up the meter. To do this, click menu and select setup manager. Note that several setups exist for RT60 mode. The RA or RT on the right identifies the setup as RT60 mode. Select the active configuration and click on general in the bottom navigation bar. The lowest and highest filters determine the octave bands for which we want to test and record in our data. We'll pick 125 Hz to 4 kHz. Set our exit time to 5 seconds so that we have time to exit the room once we start the run. Click on RT60 in the bottom navigation bar. For this example, we want to produce an engineering grade measurement. To do this, set the trigger source to mid band and level to 80 decibels. We also need at least two decays to meet the desired grade. Click on RT60 advanced. Set the sample period to 5 milliseconds, build time to 3 seconds and we'll leave the other settings alone. Click on source. Select the pink radio. Then click close. In the settings pop-up, select yes to save our changes. Click close again. I've prepared my 831C meter with Wi-Fi, microphone, and Bass 001 omnidirectional, dodecahedron sound source in my test room. And I'm wearing proper hearing protection. Let's start a run. Click the empty stop symbol in the upper right-hand corner. You can see the indicator changes to exit, directing us to leave the room before the loud sound source begins. After the exit time has elapsed, the meter records the background level. The indicator shows the meter is capturing the pre-trigger levels. When the pre-trigger buffer is full, the indicator switches to ready. Since we have the noise source enabled, the meter turns on the noise output. The indicator changes to valid. The OBA graph shows the levels. Based on the trigger source and level settings, the bars turn green as the level exceeds the trigger. The meter automatically cuts the noise output, and the indicator shifts to triggered when the level of a trigger source band falls below the red trigger line. The meter calculates the decay and then the process begins again, based on the settings for the number of decays per position. We have two decays and one position. For engineering grade, we need a few more. I'll go ahead and run those then come back after. You can see we now have 6 positions and 12 decays. Let's take a closer look at these in the other pages. Arrow down. The second page shows the T20 and T30 calculated RT60 times for each octave band. Use the left and right arrow keys or click on the arrows on the page to navigate the different bands. Notice that the cursor in the graph changes color based on the T30 quality if available otherwise T20. Press enter and use the left and right arrows or click on the grade arrows around overall ensemble to allow us to view the decays or the overall ensemble. If one decay had a noise disturbance, you can exclude it. Click the check mark or select menu and the exclude decay option. This navigation found on most of the pages allows you to switch between the decays and ensemble. Moving on, click the down arrow or scroll with the mouse wheel for the next page. The top graph displays the decay curve and the rest of the page resembles the previous one. We can navigate it the same way. Let's click through a few decays. On the next page, we see the LZ EQ, LZ Max and LZ background graphed by band. Again, the cursor in the graph shows the T30 quality. The next page contains the quality indicators for each band. See the documentation for a description of the individual quality indicators. The arrow here switches between T20 and T30. If you have third octave selected in your settings, there could be two pages of these indicators. 
The following page is a breakdown of each band for both T20 and T30. The next page provides the estimated grade with the requirements. The next grade section denotes the requirements of the next higher grade. If you are missing any requirement on this page, the actual value will be read. One more page. Click on Source in the bottom navigation bar. Use this page to test your equipment setup in the room. You can press Enter or click the checkbox to turn on and off the noise output from the meter to the BAS001 sound source. You can also change the noise type and attenuate the level of the output. That covers the new feature on the meter. The 831C and G4 manuals have more details about each setting and page. We have updated the RT60 file output when you download and open it in G4. The RT60 files have graphs that break down the decays and positions, including quality indicators that make it easy to see where a problem may exist. You can switch between T20 and T30. The file also breaks down each position and associated decays. Finally the spectra section allows you to see each decay's times by frequency. You can hide all of the decays by clicking the hide button. Then show individual decays against the overall ensemble. Thank you for following along.